The Campex training manual was the basic template for the OSS. Without it, I don't think OSS could have got off the ground at all. Frank Gleason is one of the first American instructors. He teaches at a secret school in Maryland known as Area B. My specialty was demolitions. Camp X manual calls for the use of live explosives, a serious risk when training inexperienced men. When we trained people, we set up trip wires, and they're supposed to check very carefully to make sure that they don't run into a trip wire. And the next thing you know, Boom, it went off. I was sick. Hit him in the jaw, knocked out the tooth, broke his jaw. My heart's going, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that was a big lesson. The important thing is tremendous detailed planning, violent execution. Exposing raw recruits to live explosives is extremely dangerous, but necessary. The Allies now face enemies on both sides of the world. Yes. Germany's sweep through Europe has been matched by Japan's push across Asia. They now control vast territories where they can move men and machines. Allied agents make transport links a primary target. Plastic explosives was actually invented around this time, and its use was perfected at Camp X. For an agent, it was absolutely incredible because it was inert, you could smuggle it in, and also it was incredibly malleable. You could put it pretty much on any target. And the best part about it was a little went a long way. Frank Gleason takes a lot of plastic explosive on his mission to central China. He will need it. More than one million invading Japanese troops are waiting for him. And I'm, what? 21 years old, and I'm immortal. Let's go. Also known as Composition C, plastic explosive is deadly in more ways than one. Composition C was a violent poison. Well, when we were in China, they sent me some Aunt Jemima, which is Composition C, but in powder form. This Aunt Jemima looked just like regular flour. So I got the cook. Hello, Chen. Ah. I have a present for you. It's a uh, flower. I need you to make for me uh, rolls. Okay. Mm. But it's very important. Do not eat them because they're poisonous. No. Mm. Make you very sick. Hmm. So hmm. rolls don't eat. <laughs> He produced this pan of rolls, and they were beautiful. But the cook, he says, those Americans, they just want those for themselves. So he ate one. He almost died. While not edible, the dinner roll bombs are easy to hide. And get it behind, you know, past the Japanese guards. And then we could, we could take it into a power plant, blow up the Galdarn power plant. Working with Chinese nationalists, Frank Gleason's primary mission, target rail and road links that could be used by the Japanese. If the Japanese could use it, I destroyed it. We blew over 150 bridges. You might blow one or two bridges, but you don't get to blow a number of bridges like we did. <laughs> they were really something. 